Hi, this video is going to show you how to enter your marks into the mark book section of Aspen. So now that I'm signed in, I can click on the top tab, mark, mark book tab. And when I do that, we can see that I'm brought to a list of my classes that I teach. I'm just going to choose one here. And then I'm in the roster side tab. To get into the report card, I have to click on the scores side tab. Once we're in here, it's important that you double check your grade columns drop down and your term drop down to make sure it corresponds to the proper reporting period for which you're writing reports. Um, if it's progress report, you're going to want to make sure that this says progress and we're in winter. If it's reporting period one, you're going to want to make sure that this says term and it says winter. And if it's the second reporting period, again, you make sure that this says term and that this says spring. Anywhere in Aspen where we have a column that's titled Evaluation, that is where you will enter the marks for the reporting period. If it's Progress Report, it would be VWDs. Um, but since I'm currently in Reporting Period 1, it's going to be uppercase letters. We can always check to see what's acceptable in each column by uh, choosing Control-L, or we can go up to the Options tab up here and we can use this lookup feature. So it's going to show us that in this column, these are the acceptable characters for that particular column. We'll do the same for ESL and IEP. And when we do that, we can see that the acceptable character is a lowercase x for both ESL and for IEP. So I'll just go ahead and enter some grades here. A neat feature in Aspen is the fill down option. What it will do is it will take the current grade that you have inputted and it will fill it down to everybody below. To do that, we can click on options and choose fill down. If you're more into keyboard shortcuts, you can choose Control D. So we can see that it filled in that value for everybody who was below where I was highlighted. Once you've made sure that you have all your evaluations filled in and you've indicated which students are ESL and which students are IEP, you're safe to move on to the next class. So you can do that by navigating through the top uh, right buttons up here, or we can click on class list. I hope this video showed you how you can enter your evaluations into the markbook section of Aspen. Thanks for watching.